Hi everybody, Hertler from Cape Town. Now one of the most challenging aspects for the older guy is usually trying to build his legs, uh, especially his upper legs. The problem is most older guys struggle with their knees. Uh, you do get the lucky ones, you know, but uh, I'm one of the unlucky ones. And many, many, many guys I know have been to multiple knee operations and they're really struggling severely to build their upper leg muscles. The calf muscles is less of an issue. It places less strain, calf training, places less strain on the knee. But even with that, it could be problematic. Now, of course, you need to work with your doctor. You know, you need to be wise about this. If you really got a significant problem with your knees and the only way to correct it is via surgery, then you have to go that route. Uh, but unfortunately, many guys have gone this route and afterwards they still find that the knees is still a problem. So the bottom line is that they still can't effectively train. My knees, for example, is sometimes so bad that I I can hardly walk. Uh, I would walk in a shopping center and then all of a sudden my one knee would just say and it goes and I can't take another step with that leg. It really, really is aching. What do I do? Because a lot of guys ask me, you know, listen, Chad, uh, you, you got to uh, quite decent legs and you claim to have this major knee issues or knee problems so what do you do now this is the video that i'm making to give away my secret the bottom line what you must realize it's, it's, it's a slow process because my secret is all about building up and strengthening the supporting muscles to the knee because your problem that you're currently facing is 90 percent because of the supporting muscles to the knee that is not correctly in place now that has happened over, over quite a couple of years because of all these knee problems and knee pains that you got you how can i say not knowing about it you you've stopped to develop the uh, muscles around the knee. That has now resulted in the support to the knee is being very weak. So even the slightest training for you is gonna to be too much for your knee and your knee is not gonna cope. Now, one thing you must realize, if you've got knee problems, serious knee problems, you will never, never, ever have massive legs. Accept that. That's not gonna be in your future, but you're still going to be able to have great looking legs. With a system that I'm following for training my painful and weak knees, I'm able to grow my upper legs. I'm actually quite proud of my leg development. No, they're not huge and they're never going to be you. No, sure. My approach is a bit unconventional. A lot of guys are going to raise an eyebrow, but there's a lot of science behind why I'm doing what I'm doing with my leg training. My leg training approach. First, you need to make sure that the knee is stabilized correctly. Now, there is a couple of options here. You can train with uh, what they call straps. You know, it's, it's this long strap that you wrap around the knee, the, the starting at the upper leg, around the knee, and then, you know, the top part of your calf. I started out with that a couple of years ago already. Now, I was able to do a fair amount of leg training with that, but it's, it's actually problematic because before every set, you have to wrap it, and after every set, you have to unwrap it because they... They, they're quite tight and they're cutting off your blood flow and your legs start aching so badly if you don't take it off after every set that you can't continue training. Now, for me, this is too much of an effort. Plus, the fact that it cuts off the blood flow, I, I, I don't like it. But it's just too much of an effort to be for every set and after every set, you know, take put it on and take it off. So for me, that was not an option. The second solution, just putting on a flexible knee guard. Now, the flexible knee guard, this is a simple thing that stretches and that you put over the knee like this. I'm sorry, but if you've got any moderate to serious knee issue, this is not cutting the great. So this is for guys that has got just a tightness or, or slight pain in, in their knees. The third solution, and this is the only solution that I found that is actually really working and that supports the knee, embraces the knee so that uh, it doesn't move. So it stabilizes the knee correctly, is a knee support with an actual brace, with metal part, uh, if you can see sticking through here, mine is actually broken, this is a metal part that goes straight through with a hinge in the middle. And that is on both sides of the uh, knee support. Now this works. Uh, you put it on your knee, I'll put up a short video for you to show you uh, you know how it looks when it's on the knee. The key with this is the metal hinges. That is providing the stabilization and support to the knee that is required when you 
the workout. Oh, the problem is it doesn't last long, you know. For me, uh, we're talking two months. Uh, so every two months I need to buy a new one because the, as you can, as you saw, the one that I showed you there, the metal parts, you know, sticking through and, you know, becoming completely loose later on. The thing is you need to spend that money to be able to continue training. There is uh, other products available out there. And uh, I've actually spoken to a girl the other day at the gym. She bought hers overseas in the USA and it's quite expensive. I think she said it was about $500. It is completely repairable. So any part that uh, break or that wear and tear you know she can just order and she can replace any part of the, of the knee brace and that knee brace looks super sexy if you prepare to spend that money you can have a super sexy knee brace this one is not very sexy but uh, what i don't care I'm, I'm 54 years old i'm not there to impress anybody i'm doing this for myself my health and because i enjoy it and you're just wearing the knee brace while you train after you train you take it off although this is not always true uh we visited thailand recently and um we did such a lot of walking there that I decided to actually put on the knee brace. If, if I didn't do that, then the walking would have totally crunched my knee and uh, I would have serious knee issues while, while I was there. So there might be other circumstances when you know you're going to put pressure or uh, strain on the knee, wear your knee brace for that duration. When your knee is fully stabilized, you will find that you can do significant training. So the first step, every time you train, you put on a knee support with a brace, metal brace on both sides with hinges that keep the knee in place and support the knee sufficiently. And you must wear this every time you train. Don't think I'm just going to wear this when I do my legs or whatever. No, you're going to use it every time you train because uh, think about it. When you, for example, stand, you're doing your, your bicep curls. You're doing quite heavy weights. Plant your foot on the floor and you're holding fairly heavy weights in your upper body. So that means you're actually putting strain on your legs. And the slightest wrong move, if you don't wear this kind of brace, is going to potentially result in major knee issues. So you need to wear this every time you train. Doesn't matter what you train. Upper body, back abs, doesn't matter. You wear this knee brace. My rehab training program. It's a slow process because you need to build up the tendons and the muscles that supports the knee. That is partly why you got this big problem because that muscles is way insufficient currently. So my training is all about a 21 week program where I build up the supporting muscles to the knee and the best exercise to build up supporting muscle for the knee is squats but we're doing it in a very specific way number one you never go lower than 90 degree I'll, I'll put up a clip for you a 90 degree angle with your upper leg and your lower leg if you go lower than that that is too big an angle that puts strain on your lower back so you're going to start developing lower back problems number two you place your feet about shoulder width toes slightly out and you push your knees out. So don't keep your knees inwards, push your knees out. You do this training every day before you start with your main program. So this is basically part of your warm up. Now I'm gonna put all the weeks on the screen for you, the whole program, so you can read on the screen. I'm not gonna discuss everything in detail. Basically what it involves is that you start out with just normal body squats. You're doing two sets of 20 reps. And then you slowly, week by week, you will see the, the slices that I've got on the screen. And then you slowly increase the weights. I use a normal training bag that I put on my shoulders. You start at ground zero with just the body weight. Then you move up to, move up to your smallest body bag that you can find. Our gym has got a five kilogram, so you put a five kilogram on your shoulders. You do that for a couple of weeks. Then you move on to the bigger body bag. So you move step by step by step up until you get to 40 kilogram. The moment that you hit 40 kilogram, and then according to my program that I followed, I suggest that you must get to your 40 kilogram in week 21. So the moment you get to your 40 kilogram, you then start increasing your sets to not two sets, but doing three sets of 20 reps with a 40 kilogram bag before your training session, basically as a warm up. From week 21, you are now cleared to start with an actual leg day. So that means you can now dedicate one of the days 
to your leg training because your knee is now sufficiently stabilized and the supporting muscles is now and tendons is sufficient, sufficiently much stronger. The type of exercises you know that comes to mind that is knee friendly is primarily your leg press, your hack squat to a, to a lesser degree, machine leg curls and I suggest you stay away from lunges. Guys just don't be over eager you know this is going to be a slow process. Um, there's a lot of damage and you need to be work wisely around this. If you're not, you're just going to end up with more problems than anything else. Following my route is, is definitely going to bring you decent legs. You know, not the biggest in the gym, but decent legs. And that is all you can wish for at this stage. Just a note regarding calf training. Uh, you might think the calves has got very little to do with the knees, but uh, going very heavy on the calf training is going to create problem with your knees. So number one, when you do calf training you must wear that knee brace and number two don't go crazy on the weights do your calf training with moderate weights do it slowly do it focused no jerking move slowly increase the weights so there you have it that is what i do my legs has responded very well they're actually growing and um I'm quite hopeful for the future that I might still increase their size quite a bit now i've been to guys i've been to knee surgeons I've been to physiotherapists, I've been to sports doctors, I've been to biokineticists, I've been to everybody that's got any suggestions on what I must do with knees. And in the end, the only real solution for me was this approach that I put forward in this video. Oh, and for you guys that are interested, I've got a system that I've developed, the Advanced System 2 for the older guy. It's basically the system I'm following and I adapt it for your target goal, your body type, and it's customized on many levels. Uh, if you want to sign up, just follow the link that's on the screen. Guys, happy training, build those legs. Cheers. Gerdlo from Cape Town, signing off.